So let's talk about your new album. Okay. Um, the most important question we have to start with is what does your mum think of it? Good point. Um, it's hard to know, actually. The last time out with the last album, she was very critical. And it, I, I told her that it actually hurt my feelings. So now she's maybe a little... Ev I don't know if maybe I've stopped her being honest. Uh, so I, have, I can't take the verdicts out on that one. She said she likes a couple of tracks, which I'm sure she does. Uh, she likes beats. My mum loves a good beat, so there's, there's like plenty of beats. There's no ballads on this album, it's all beats. So uh, she, I'm sure she's down with some of the beats. But I haven't quite, the verdict is though, it's not quite in. But it's all good, it's all good. Feeling in your face when I met you the sound of the room, you. I got this 80s vibe when I listened to it. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering what you were listening before when you were making it. Well, I mean, yeah, I got moving to Nashville. Obviously, it's a huge change in 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 our lives. You know, me and my wife moved there, and and it's 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 strange. You know, sometimes we'll wake up and we're just like ah, like where are we? You know, it's, we get this rush of like you know, it's just strange. Um, but. We found a great radio station. There's a lot of driving goes down in Nashville. And uh, so radio becomes a huge part of existence. And we found a station called 92Q. And it's like a, and it's actually a really good sort of all R&B station. They play a lot of, you know, Gap Band, Cameo, you know, Prince, um, play Atomic Dog, like it was like a bloody national anthem. A lot of stuff that just has been always in my musical radar in a way and this it's kind of uh it sounds fresh to me so uh yeah that's what i was listening to you know when i wrote these songs i was really conscious of just like you know really satisfying bridges coming in big decadent ride outs with loads of ad-lib vocals and just the part you know just just making it feel like a kind of a luxurious thing and a maximalist thing too like you know songs like big love have got so much going on there's like Layers of vocals with percussion, horns, real drums, synthesized drums, you know, three or four keyboard lines, a real guitar, some bass. You know, all of that is happening. And, you know, I need a big mixing desk. So, like, there's all these channels just pumping away. And it kind of, I kind of help it feel like that was like that maximalist aesthetic that's kind of like not really so hip anymore. You know, I think a lot of people are going minimal. So, uh, I don't know. It's just the way. That I have realised I, I do, I just like a lot. I like a lot of stuff happening. And I had to take control. I had to take control. What I really want to know is why did you move to Nashville? Because I read that you um, you lived in Paris and Berlin and New York mm -hmm. and I also read that every time you kind of enter a comfort zone you uh, you move away from it. Yeah, I mean all those things are true uh, to an extent, although I'm, I feel like I'm in a different kind of comfort zone now. I mean, it, comfort zones come in different flavours, I guess. Uh, I always like a challenge. I like to explore. I mean, I guess that kind of is about, you know, sometimes it overlaps with not wanting to have a comfort zone, but sometimes it's just because it's, it's really always fascinating to see things, new things and new tastes and, you know new sights and sounds. Um, but Nashville was just kind of a natural evolution for me and my wife because we were enjoying New York, still love New York, but um, it was just too insane to try to get by there, too expensive, we didn't have enough space, just simple, you know, everyday things that just need to, to be resolved. So we'd heard from a few other musician friends and, you know, other characters, like, you should check Nashville, it's like, a, you can get good space and, you know, you can really stretch out and make art and all of that stuff. So um, we did check it and, and, and we didn't like it in the beginning. We were like, no, it's not right for us. You know, and we were kind of New York snobs and just felt like this is like some, it's stuck too far from our comfort zone, a little bit too far from our comfort zone. But then we met really cool people and we found a house. I think most of, importantly, we just found this incredible house that was just like just a good fit for us it's a, stylistically and just space wise and and how much it cost just all lined up and uh it's been great 
just made so much music and art there. My wife has a dark room in the house and I've got my studio and, you know, it's fun. I could go on about Nashville all day. I mean, it's... Uh, well, that's a good sign, That's just it? the beginning. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a cool place. I like having a studio in, in Nashville is just makes it all a joy. You know, I have the mic set up mm -hmm. and I just play the song and just kind of write and record and... I haven't, I mean, that simple thing, just to be able to do that simple thing, it's just a huge relief for me. It's just hard to explain. Just, I just haven't had that for, for a long time. So I'm, I'm, I'm realizing just like how much flexibility and freedom that gives me. So, uh, yeah, Nashville is good for that as well, just having a great studio. You know? So, are you happy? Very happy, yeah. I mean, I I'm, 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 I'm have to pinch myself a lot, just be like, Okay, well, you know, I've prepared myself a lot in life, I think, for letdowns, you know. Why? Uh, I think fundamentally my dad leaving at an early age, I always thought the people would leave me. And then when people did leave me, it kind of gave me more ammunition to think that they would. <sighs> so now I'm married, I'm, I'm kind of less worried about that. And, and it's really settling in slowly, like it's going to be good. And like... And that makes me, you know, a lot more comfortable and happy in, in a simple way. You know. I, am, I am in an ambitious mood, you know, and I think you can hear that with the music and I think people are going to really, really like that. So it um, feels like the right time. If any time is the right time, it's now. <laughs>